yeah, that that's 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 what we got for Blade this week. Um, also, we have some more movie news. In oh man, this one takes me back to my childhood. The ninety. Britney Spears. I don't even know how to feel about this, right? But Britney Spears is getting a movie about her life. There's going to be a biopic about the singer. And we're going to watch this movie show us very specific points of her life. Um, seemingly giving us a behind the scenes look for the first time on some of the things that happened. Now... There are so many things running through fans of Britney Spears, uh, and boy band, and just fans of the 90s mind as we look back at this period of time and just try to guess what they might do. Obviously, you know, what what aspect are we going to do? Are we going to see when her career started? Um, are we going to see her rise at just being on MTV TRL all the time uh, across from Carson Daly? Are we going to... Are we going to see her romance with Justin Timberlake and how that fell out? Are we going to see the beginnings of her career or her relationship with her parents and that whole mental breakdown that she had after achieving fame? And more importantly, I think this is probably the most Googled question I've seen. Who's going to play Britney? Who's going to play Britney? This is probably the biggest question on everyone's mind. And I got to tell you that there's definitely some good choices. I think the first person most people are thinking of is probably Sydney Sweeney, right? Because Sydney Sweeney's got that girl next door look. She's got that glam to her and that star power. And she's a name on the rise. But there's also other cool names that could play like. Florence Pugh and, and, up, and maybe if they want to just switch it up and keep everyone on their toes they can even go with Zendaya but we we just don't know what direction they're going to go yet but either way just the announcement of a Britney Spears movie is got is done enough to set all her fans in a frenzy I don't know where I fall on this I'm going to be watching this news and the film uh with curiosity it, it really is just, you know, nostalgia for me. I want to see what they do. I want to see how much of the 90s they bring in. Are they going to have the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC show up? What are we going to do? Where are we going with this? So I'm really excited to see where they go with this, even if just for nostalgia's sake. I'm curious. Is it just me? I'm curious. So, uh, yeah, let me let me check with y'all. Let's see what, what some of you guys are saying. Some of you guys and girls are saying. Miss T says, is Britney involved? You know, <laughs> that's a good question. And I hope she's involved. But as much as I hope she's involved, I really hope that they have a really good writer involved. Like, I'm going to need like, uh, uh, what's his name? Aaron Sorkin type of writer, like the dude who wrote the social network, the dude who wrote the movie about Steve Jobs. I'm going to need this level of writing, right? I, I don't want just any old person that thinks that they can do it or somebody who's new to the genre. I, I don't need that. I need somebody who knows what they're doing, who's going to treat this film with care and approach it in a way that's both meaningful for fans uh but satisfying and respectful to the creators and the person that they're trying to represent but yeah that that's that's a good question is britney involved um gothic chick oh gothic chick thank you for stopping by always a pleasure to see you um if it's going to be anything like that audio book count me in now have it read the book so i'm going to kind of rely on you like on a scale of one to ten, where does this book lie compared to other biopics? Like, is this something I should grab on Audible and just keep in the background and just kind of get a sense? Or is it kind of like, nah, I could wait for the movie? So let, let me know what you think about whether or not I should be checking this out or if this is something that I'm going to appreciate the movie for. But I always appreciate you stopping by, God, the chick. Thank you so much. 